the elephant island because it's kind of confusing here because a lot of ferry just um, just to cruise around and come back we've got tickets from the man that I normally would not buy tickets from but apparently it's the it's the real deal we'll, we'll see it's written here elephant cage so I have to believe
We are starting our climb up to the cave. And uh, if you're too lazy, you can order a chair. How much is the chair to, to get up? 2,000. 2,000 rupees. Okay, thank you. 2,000 uh, Oh, look at the monkey up. Monkey is right there, the first monkey. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Yeah, this is a monkey. Okay. Um, 2,000. Uh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks and they will carry you sitting on a chair. I, I don't think I want to do that, but it's uh, for someone who works too lazy. An hour and a half long ferry ride from the gateway of India to the Elephanta Island in the Mumbai Harbor will open up to a hidden world of rock-cut caves robust in their carving and boasting a legion of Shaivite sculptures. Through the 19th and 20th centuries, historians and scholars have been into minds about their exact period of origin. Further studies, numis, numismatic evidence of architectural style and inscriptions have traced the cave temple of to King Krishnaraja from the Kalachuri dynasty around mid sixth centuries, and the Buddhist um, stupas to the Hinayana Buddhists who had settled in the island around 2nd century BC, much before the advent of the Brahmins to Elephanta. The local Marathi folks popularized this island and Harapuri, but Elephanta became common parlance after the Portuguese took over the land from the Gujarat Sultan in 1534 and named it so after the massive rock-cut elephant statue that stood sentinel over the sea. The colonizers identified the structure as a landmark to dock their boats and to also tell it apart from the other smaller islands on the Arabian Sea. You can no longer find this monolithic elephant statue here as it was damaged in an attempt to move it to England. The Great Cave After the disembarking from the ferry, you can either walk the one kilometer distance to the cave side or take a toy train from the pier to the base of the hill. Further, you need to ascend a fleet of 120 steps to the hilltop on which the great caves are perched. The architecture of the caves seem to have been borrowed from that of a typical Buddhist Vihara monastery with a central court and several pillared cells. For a depth of 39 meters from the front to back, it has a remarkably small, small main entrance. Although there are two sides entrances each from east and west, an ode to Shivaism, the temple complex celebrates the various forms and, and manifestations of Shiva. With some larger than life sculptures, the centerpieces of the Grand Cave is the Trimurti, or Trimurti and also the most intriguing. Facing the north entrance is the Trimurti sculptures carved in a relief of the cave wall de depicting Shiva with three heads, also called Sadashiva. The three heads each are symbolic of the Holy Trinity, translating into creator, preserver, and the destroyer. Over centuries, scholars have argued over who de defaced the structures most, but their finding remains inconclusive to this day. 
some scholars blame it on the Gujarat Sultan period for um, dealing a, a blow to the artwork and decorations um, across the caves. And there are others who find the Portuguese soldiers guilty of using the caves as a firing range and the statues for target practice. A few experts exonerate the Muslim ruler and the Portuguese from any defacement that caves suffered, for they were uh, believed to have plastered uh, the artwork and even the caves. These experts believe that uh, Marathas expedited the impending doom of the caves, but by deliberately damaging the artwork in the 17th centuries. In the 1970s, the Indian government made major restoration effort and gave the heritage site a new lease of life. Today, the archaeologic, Archaeological Survey of India manages the site in terms of constructing support structures and maintaining the on-site museum and visitor facilities so we all can enjoy it. Пещера Элефанта. Полтора часа на пароме от Мумбаи вы увидите спрятанные от мира, разукрашенные потрясающим убранством статуи божеств пещеры Элефанты. Историки до сих пор спорят о возрасте этих пещер. Некоторые датируют их с середины VI века до нашей эры. Португальцы завоевали остров в 1534 году и дали ему имя Элефанта в честь статуи слона, смотрящей в море и подававшей сигналы морякам. Статуя слона там больше не стоит, так как ее сильно повредили англичане, пытаясь отколоть ее от скалы и вывести в Англию. По приезду вам придется пройти с километров до лестницы, а потом еще подниматься вверх 120 ступенек до самих пещер. Это не так легко сделать жаркий день, но оно того стоит. Ряд пещер удивит вас своими колоннами и статуями. Архитектура схожа с буддийской, но Шива, Бог разрушитель, также заявляет на нее свои права. Главное каменное пано Тримурхи, создатель, держатель и разрушитель, относится больше к индуизму, чем к буддизму. Да и не будем забывать, что Будда в переводе значит просветленный, то есть Буд может быть много. Бог Вишну, вселяясь в разных животных и черепаху, кабана и рыбу, также он вселялся в людей, таких как Кришна, Рама или Гаутама, последний Будда, и поэтому последний почитается индусами. Многие скульптуры были повреждены моголами и португальцами. Последние тренировались стрелять на божествах, отстреливая им лица. Правительство Индии отреставрировало многое, добавив колонны и исправив статуи, но все исправить и восстановить не удалось. На острове также вы найдете много диких макак, которые так и ждут, чтобы отобрать еду у зазевавшегося посетителя. Место славится своей а, причастностью к истории, красотой, тишиной и божественной энергией. doesn't have any columns and it's still holding everything in place just fine so my theory is there was never any columns they were added to the ensemble just to make it prettier and of course corrosion and the quality of our uh, concrete or whatever they were using is um, not as much good and now uh, that's why it's all falling apart but here is the one of the last caves and everything like look at this rock hanging over it and everything is fine maybe they were added for the safety i'm not sure but again the statue is really hard to see because um, they were destroyed. 
uh, apparently by Portuguese army, uh, I'm not sure when, about 100 years ago, 150 years ago, who knows, when Helen Blavatsky was here, they were already destroyed. And she was very precise in her books describing Elephanta Caves. And um, she was amazed by the quality of the rock carving and by the beauty of it. So I'm gonna stick because Helen Velasquez was um, here and was writing about it about 200 years ago and she was amazed by, uh, by the work that was put on it. And uh, I wanna believe her. If she believes it's original, I'm gonna believe it's original. And uh, if a uh, hundred or two hundred years ago we decided to fix it and pretend that it's how it looked before, then that, that's okay. As long as original pieces are still here, then uh, we'll be okay with that. So police here all over, and God forbid you are recording. You can take a picture, fine, but you're not allowed to record. I don't understand that, I don't know why, but uh, it's just the way it is. So, I'm gonna just ignore, because I wanna have a proof of this necessary place. And I wanna do a um, video, detailed video for all of you guys just to show you that um, according to what I see right now our ancestors had way more knowledge about how to build and how to keep it safe so it would last for not just um, centuries but forever and ever for our common generations to see and monkey so many monkeys here they're guarding this place and it's just amazing everyone who is in India um, needs to see this place this is just unbelievable all right <laughs> might be a stolen lunch. <laughs> I'll enjoy it. So here is the last cave of the whole entire complex. And I have to tell you that this one looks unfinished at all. I think the builders started with the first cave and did a good job and then they were just moving on from one cave to another making it as a temple and this one was the last one uh, it looks like on their project but they were not able to finish they left or died from some kind of 
um, catastrophic event, maybe, I don't know, but it's just a good start. You can see the, the columns to be, uh, how they were originally carved from the stone, but uh, and, uh, here they are. They're not supported by any means here, like hanging over me, and probably it is unsafe to stand here. And I'm not gonna go in to explore just for the safety reasons. But I think that this is it. And now um, we're gonna be going back to the mainland, and hopefully we'll we'll go visit the museum as well. All right, thank you, Elephanta Island. It was amazing.